Hello there YouTube. Lately, I got a request from one of my subscribers to actually do a video on Rudolph Valentino's side parts. So, whoever requested for this video, here you are. Okay, so let's get to the basics. Rudolph Valentino's part was really close to the center of his head, but not completely to the center. Instead, it was somewhere between the sides and the center. It was a very high part. His hair was never seen completely slicked to the back, as far as I know, but most of the time it's combed diagonally or sometimes completely to the sides. And just like his contemporaries, he had really shiny hair, and his hair had absolutely no volume to it whatsoever. His hair was actually pretty long, his bangs reached all the way up to his, um, all the way down to his lips, while mine is relatively short. For those of you who have, um, kind of like a short medium length um, Asian hair that's quite springy as long as it's not too thick. It is possible to do this hairstyle if you have some tonic with you to relax it to make it really, really flat. So now I'll show you how to do a Rudolph Valentino side part. Okay, here's my earlier attempt with just using Yardley English Lavender Brillantine alone. And um, I stepped out of the shower, my hair was wet, I towel dried it, became damp, and I applied um, Yardley English Lavender Brillantine with no tonic, and these are the results of my hair. Even though it's really fine and thin, I still don't really get decent results because my hair is naturally springy as I'm Asian, so we'll be using a tonic for this. Well, in fact, as a matter of fact, right before I made this very video, I was doing my review for the Yardley English Lavender Brillantine pomade, so talk about efficiency. Alright, so I would put a couple of drops of tonic into my hands and spread it all around. Now with this hairstyle, you really would not want any volume at all. It's supposed to be super flat and tonic is supposed to give you the opposite of volume. Okay, so once that is taken care of, you have everything just massaged in there, distributed all around. As always, slick your hair back. It ensures proper distribution of the product. And using this tonic will actually um, relax my hair, it softens it up so it won't be too springy anymore. So I can actually get my hair to be a lot more um, flat. If I use a product that's too light, like the Umbrillantine earlier, then it'll just spring out a little bit. That's why I'm just going to use a light medium. For those of you Caucasians watching this video, I think you would be okay with only Brill Cream. Just something as light as Brill Cream if you have um, relatively um, thin, fine hair or um, just regular thickness of hair. Brill Cream would just do you good enough. But then, if you're Asian like me, you just have to apply some tonic in there first, no matter how thin your hair is. So, I'll just scoop out some sweet Georgia Brown, light medium. Now, obviously, giving a heavy would only... Putting a heavy pomade in there would just give my hair a little more volume. So, a light medium would be a perfect compromise for that. As usual, apply it all around. With this pomade, you're supposed to have, I mean, with this hairstyle, you're supposed to um, achieve plenty of shine. So, do be sure to get um, one of those pomades, be it a light or a light medium or a hair cream, it's supposed to have a lot of shine, which usually, they do have plenty of shine, so you're in good hands. Slick it all back again. It'll be much easier if you use um, a wide tooth comb for this. I was using my fine tooth comb. So just lick your hair back. And now, finding your part. Valentino's part was pretty much near the center, but it's still kind of to the sides. You should still find where your hair naturally parts be to the left or right, except this time it's closer to the center. As you can see over here, my hair just naturally parts at the left of my head, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, 
something you gotta notice, you, I gotta tell you before making your part. Um, Valentino's part was um, pretty near the end of his eyebrows and kind of near the center of his, of his head, so you gotta do it somewhere around the area as well. So just look back and align it with um, somewhere near the end of your eyebrows. I'm just gonna take this area right here and dig your comb through it. Now push it away with your wide tooth comb. Then you take your fine tooth comb and you comb the sides diagonally. Not backwards, not downwards, but diagonally. Like a little bit of a backwards motion, but just make sure that the final result achieved is diagonal. And do the same for the rest of your hair. It's a very, very simple hairstyle. It doesn't need much maintenance. Um, much doesn't need much maintenance. Blah. But okay, it's um, a relatively simple hairstyle. That's all you need to it. Just flatness, absolutely no volume, a lot of shine, and everything is just straight up diagonal. And if you want. A boar's hair bristle brush, brush would go hand in hand with it. You just slick it diagonally again to make it even closer to your skin. Very, very tight and slick. And obviously you comb the back downwards. Now for my hair type, I can't use a military brush as my last step, like most of you can, but just for my hair type, it sometimes stands up a little bit, even though ironically it's supposed to do the job of keeping it down. It keeps it down and lays the foundation for keeping it down, but for me, a fine tooth comb just puts everything into place in the end, which is why. Those of you might ask why I use a fine tooth comb after a boar's hair brush, that's the reason. So, I should just call it done, right there. It's very, very simple. Super shine, diagonal, just take a look at that. The part that's near the center, but still kind of to the sides, it should be very clean and very straight. And that should be it. If you like this video, do leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section below, and subscribe to my channel, and be sure to check out my other tutorials and pomade reviews. Till my next video. Okay, I forgot to add this bit earlier, but Rudolph Valentino did not only have um, diagonally slicked hair, but sometimes this area of his hair was slicked to the sides completely, no volume at all. Just look completely to the sides. His sides were diagonal as well, but they're less diagonal, like somewhere between diagonal and the sides, and it's still really, really flat. Very straightforward, super simple, not much to it at all. So that is how you do Another variation of Rudolph Valentino's side part of what he's seen with sometimes.